everyone welcome back to the channel my name is Appa in case you guys are new here this is like my fourth take because I just started rambling <laughs> and I shouldn't be rambling in my videos I should keep it short to the point and not ramble so today's video is going to be a little bit different it's going to be like vlog style and it's going to be obviously like me sitting down and I just walking through some of the points that I do want to make in this video but a lot of you guys were interested in knowing how I am doing as a healthcare provider student in a pandemic how has this pandemic affected the student life and uh, I just want to you know give you guys like an overview of what the past couple of semesters have been like and uh, how things have changed in healthcare also like in terms of seeing patients and such. So in case you are new to my channel, I am in a non-traditional nurse practitioner nursing route to become a primary care provider. And my experience is going to be very, very different because you know, the type of program I'm in, it's not always common to have those types of programs at other schools, very selected schools have these types of programs. So in case you're interested in knowing more about that, I will definitely suggest that you check out my graduate entry nursing series. Like I have a whole list of videos that I've talked about uh, my experiences and like how to apply to these types of programs, etc. But Today, I just want to talk about the student life. Um, <laughs> I took the NCLEX when COVID first hit. It was June or July. I could not get a seat for the longest time. I had to wait at least three months in order to take my test. Uh, thank goodness my test was only, you know, the 60 to 110. I think that's what the limit was. I think they've changed it again now. So I'm really glad that it was a shorter test and I did pass it and I did um, move on to the second phase of my program, which is obviously, you know, the provider phase. Some of you guys might be totally confused about what the heck am I talking about this RN phase and this provider phase. Um, yeah, it's a different type of program. That's why I'm suggesting that you definitely go check out the other series before you watch this video. But overall, guys, I think a lot of students have had a really, really rough time, not just like healthcare provider students, but, you know, anyone who is trying to get a degree is just having a really, really hard time. Kudos to you if you are graduating this year. It has not been easy, whether you're graduating from high school, college, you know, your master's degree, kudos to you because it's been... A crappy time okay it's been a crappy time with zoom and virtual stuff and just not having like in-person meetings um, it has been really really hard you know so kudos to you if you are graduating this year this year was supposed to be my last year and I was supposed to graduate in December and move to a different state to potentially you know start working however that did not work out as some of you guys do know i did fly back to india for a couple of months and uh, there were multiple reasons for that and i was on a medically reduced course load leave i guess you could call it I'm not gonna go into too much detail about why I took that leave. It was to do with school. There were a lot of things happening with school and unfortunately because I need to protect myself and because I need to protect others who are affected by my situation, I'm not gonna be able to go into too much detail about that. But part of the reason as to why I took that leave is because of the pandemic and Man, it's been a really, really rough year, but I really was not expecting that. But in a way, I'm doing fine now. But initially, when that had happened, when I had to take that leave, I was very, very upset and not okay. 
because obviously, you know, this is my last year. This was supposed to be my last year, but now I'm basically like a year behind when it comes to, you know, finishing my graduate education. So right now, guys, I am going to be taking a summer class. I think they're going to post the syllabus pretty soon so I can like, you know, start getting ready for it. But uh, they have not really posted anything. And this is something I did like notice in the pandemic is like everything is like very, very last minute with pretty much all of my classes and it's just kind of like you know I would at least like to see you know the syllabus or something 10 days at least 10 days before and it's less than 10 days now that I'm starting my classes but I don't know I've kind of noticed that a lot of times like you know professors are just not posting the syllabus on time everything is very rush rush very last minute that has been very stressful for me the past um, year or so i just don't like it when things are like that and i understand that they are also going through something which they are not used to uh, but at the same time I feel like, you know, it's just posting syllabus it's online anyways, even without the pandemic. So I just don't see why certain things can't be done, but that's just my opinion. I'm not going to say anything anymore on that topic, but uh, that is something I definitely like notice in person, like labs have been very challenging because of the number of students you can have in the room and all that and then you have to wear that face shield when you're assessing a patient that i feel like just has not been fun okay i don't care if you're an np student i don't care if you're a dentist student i feel like the dentist students are affected more by it because they literally have to look at someone's teeth and then also obviously md pa whatever it's just frustrating to ha wear masks have that face shield it makes you hot and go into like a stressful environment where you have to go in and figure out what the heck you're going to do with that patient like that has been very very stressful because you're already stressed about the test and then you have to wear these things and go in and do your thing i think that for me personally has been very very difficult another thing i do want to mention with covid like i don't even know what like the provider and patient relationship is like because everything has been virtual we have been doing like telehealth we've been doing like telehealth labs and it's just not great to be honest because it just feels off this is not why i went into healthcare profession you know to do telehealth to do telehealth consulting and sometimes telehealth is good but most of the time i don't think it's that effective even for the patient because uh, as a patient it's like well you know i know i'm safer at home but are they really looking at me are they really examining me and uh, am i getting my money's worth at least as a patient i feel like i would feel that way but i've been a patient for sure and telehealth just seems a little weird to me and i feel like telehealth is affecting you know the patient doctor or patient nurse relationship in a negative way that's just what i think some people might not think it that way but that's what i think another thing i do want to kind of mention is the student-run health clinics so we were supposed to you know obviously be a provider student at the student-run health clinic do the full history physical etc etc and just help out um, with running the clinic it's a free clinic for people who are, you know, underserved, but uh, it's mainly run by students because that would make sense because, you know, students don't always get paid. We don't, we don't get paid for our clinicals. Well, until unless you're a resident, that's when you're getting paid. But anyways, that's a whole different thing. But uh, basically, they even stopped doing that. So they started making their students administer vaccines instead they stopped the whole like 
actual physical visit thing at the student run health clinic and I feel really bad for people who really wanted that experience but now they are you know giving vaccines it might be exciting to certain people who you know have had no patient experience and they're giving out vaccines but like for me like I just was kind of like okay like you know I want to learn more of the health and physical portion like do the head to toe instead of giving vaccines although you know we are at a time where vaccines are really really needed and i'm really you know grateful about people who are willing to give vaccines when i was planning to go to the student run health clinic i was hoping to do a little bit more than just administering vaccines but because you know obviously i left the country i couldn't um, do that so those were some of the differences as to how um, the pandemic has, you know, affected student life and yeah, just the virtual classes. I think we all know, like, it just doesn't always help. I don't know. For me, I'm the type of person who wants to be there in person and then be able to ask questions, be able to move around and, you know, not sit in my apartment i love my apartment but i don't always want to be here and be able to go to you know restaurants when i want to get lunch that is something i was really missing out on and i'm sure if you're a student yourself you probably were missing out on that as well and um yeah that was rough because i feel like you know moving around going to a place going to a restaurant for lunch with your colleagues I feel like those are some of the things which really really affect your mental health a lot like your overall well-being and being stuck in an apartment trying to take a test libraries like are also not open so that was kind of rough as well and uh, yeah I just think there's pros and cons of like zoom and online learning I just don't think you know online learning is for me and I hope anyone who does go into you know like professional school doesn't have to do online learning in the future at least like me because it has not been fun also another thing I noticed with like you know professors uh, at least in my department like it was like oh should we meet on zoom or should we do in person if you're gonna come in person you're gonna have to sign up People got really tired of that. They were like, why should I sign up to be on campus? And then also when you're on campus, you have to get a COVID test done, which is something that we are going to do today because my gym is on campus. So because of my gym, I have to go get a COVID test done because they know when I'm there, <laughs> they can find out that I'm there and they will call me if I don't get a COVID test done. So I don't want to get in trouble with that so we're going to go and get the COVID test you know like I'm supposed to so that is another thing that a lot of students have been frustrated at least in my department is that oh I gotta get that COVID test done like who wants to go to campus and there's a lot of students who don't live um, near me at least in my department and they live far away and to them it's pointless to like come to campus when they're doing like virtual and in person and then you have to sign up and do the COVID test I feel like a lot of people are like it's inconvenient for them some professors even don't even want to come to campus because they don't want to do the COVID test so it's been you know kind of annoying I don't know when this whole COVID testing is going to stop I really don't know but that is something that I feel like a lot of people were frustrated whether they're in professional school or not whether they're just students or like faculty members I feel like that kind of just affected a lot of us um so yeah guys there's not much else to talk about other than you know those experiences and i'm so sorry i can't you know like talk about some other things that have happened 
but um, yeah that is what I'm going to leave you with and we're going to go and get the COVID test done.